Um, hello guys. Um, I'm pretty sure you can hear me. Um, this is, uh, my Earthbound, no equips, no, like, you know, weapons, armor, um, also no bottle rockets either. Um, and, oh man, um, this first part took me around, like, um, took me around, I don't know, like, two hours. It was around 11 hours of in-game time. Um, and, yeah, it was, a uh, quite a doozy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it took me a very long time to do all of this for you guys. Uh, um, and I obviously, I don't know if I feel too, um, happy about it. And it was a pretty long and stressful process. It took me a very long time of obviously speeding this video up. Um, I, I'm editing this video, like I sped up all my recordings except the Frank battle. I'm not going to talk during the Frank battle because I already have um, my voice over it. We'll talk all over this, but um, I just want to say that I um, actually lost like one hour of footage of me grounding on punks. And I kind of want to show you all that um, because the trial and error of it was pretty cool. Um, you basically wanted the file to escape punk and you wanted to use RNG manipulation to make sure you, um, to make sure he always called, um, a, uh, another person. Um, the RNG manipulation obviously doesn't always work out the way you want it to, but sometimes it worked. And when it worked, it was pretty happy, I was pretty happy because it, uh, it made it so that you could actually just, you know, easily grind. No, not easily, but, yeah. But, um, for this first part here, um, all these encounters, I'm pretty sure I had to do, like, 300 different battles in order to get to level 7. Um, wait, oh, wait, is this where I actually went pitch black for a while? Yeah, okay. So what I did was, was I turned off my window so that, um, you know, I don't even know why I did that, because Game Catcher, but basically what I did was I did that so that, um, so I wouldn't have to deal with, uh, no, I don't know why I did it, but basically what I was doing was I was checking, uh, I was checking, what was it, I was checking, um, what level, Um, it is for, uh, Ness to get Psychic Rockin', and so it was level 8, so I was like, okay, I'm going to just grind the level 7 here, and fight, like, a few punks to get to level, yeah. The reason you want to fight these mobs before you fight the punks, because, like, you know, you can just fight these mobs right after, you know, you beat Storm and Junior, but the reason you want to do this before that is because you want to... Um, you want to have King. King makes this grinding actually possible. It'll be impossible to grind against these guys without King. Because King makes it so that he does a lot of damage. And, uh, you by yourself, you and Pokey, you're not going to be doing enough damage to survive and level up. Um, it would take way longer if you just, you know, didn't. I'm sorry for the pitch block screen, by the way. Um. But it would be like impossible um, to actually, you know, level up. Also, a lot of these recordings might be out of sync. Um, yeah, all this pitch blackness here is me grinding on punks and stuff. I am I beat Starman Jr. off, I'm pretty sure, off the window. But you all know that that fine. It's not the easiest one in the game. Well, we're about to start seeing some more gameplay pretty soon, though, which is pretty hype. So, here's the gameplay. Um, we're about to see here. Pretty sure, yeah. Here we go. So, this is me. 
Um, so yeah, this is me. Um, this is after I beat Frank. Um, um, you guys are going to see the Frank battle after this. Um, because for some reason my recordings got shuffled up. But basically I beat Frank and now I'm going to start going up here to this um, cave where basically you uh, you fight slugs and you fight these routing houses and I'm not going to lie, getting into the magic butterflies was hell because of those, those, um, those antoids. The antoids are really annoying because they deal a lot of damage and they also have life up and they also get like, they, they're overall and they have a pretty good amount of HP as well. They're overall a pretty just annoying enemy. Um, they're just made to be annoying. So up here what you want to do is you want to farm for magic butterflies. Um, so you can go back down and use Psychic Rock. And I also got a really lucky slug battle. I got like uh, the best slug battle you can get down there. Um, so yeah. I then stopped. I got pretty mad because that Antoid basically one shot me after I was farming magic butterflies. But now I'm going to go back to the punk grinding. You can actually get to see a little bit of the punk grinding, not that much of it, but basically what I did was see I used RNG, did you see what I did there? I used RNG manipulation. You see, obviously, like, the RNG manipulation didn't work right there for some reason, but you guys saw that, what I did. I used RNG manipulation in order for the skate punks to always, you know, summon, um, you know, call for help always. It's good, um, for that, um... The, um, the battle with, uh, the Titanic Ant, I haven't even done that one yet. I'm not looking forward Here we go. Finally got some RNG manipulation right, Jesus Christ. Nice Frank fight though. That went really well. Super well. A little bit more grinding. Some more grinding before the video ends. We're obviously going back up here. Um, oh, this is just the same recording. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, guys, that's that's it. That that's it. Um, this is the same recording you guys just saw. I'm going to talk over it here, um, but yeah, um, I'm going to play this again tomorrow, um, I'm going to try and beat the Tinnicant, and I'll probably beat, uh, I, I doubt I'm going to beat, get the Paula, but I'm going to probably at least get the, uh, 
get to Heavy Heavy Village at least, but I doubt it. The next fight, the Everdread, I, I think the, I don't know how hard the Everdread fight might be. But yeah, you guys get to see me get wrecked by this Antoid here though. Eh. Yeah. Then I rage quitted. But yeah, that was fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.